सहनावतु सहनो मुनक्तु सहवीर्यम करवावहे तेजस्विनावधी तमस्तुमाविद्विशापहे ॐ शांति 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 ॐ पुरुषमा पुरुषमु देवो महेश्वरः गुरुरेव अर्थस्थाई ब्रह्मे वसुदेव सुतम् एवं कमस्तचारुणमर्थः देवकी परमानं विष्णुं वदे जगद्गुरुः समस्त जनकल्याणे <laughs> so what is vedanta see when i say some sentences which are appealing or rhetoric or fashionable kindly think over them because vedanta is all the time understood taught in paradoxes because you say karma yoga through karma you can gain jnana upadesha sutra bhagavan adaliyum kadikontra krishna bhagavanu sutra कर जनकर करना कर्म कर्मना लिए ज्ञान हो दूर दूर में है ना कर्मा मीन्स फ्रिक्शन न्याना मीन्स शांति हाउ कैन यू गेन फ्रिक्शन थ्रू शांति एंड व्हेन यू से यू आर लिविंग एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द रिलेटिव वर्ल्ड व्हेन यू से यू आर लिविंग यू आर डाइंग when you say you are living you are dying so it's all full of paradoxes so when i say some sentences also like that you have to think over them if vedanta listening especially brudharanika listening has not become your obsession you are missing a great chance to express to feel the god that you are and unnecessarily continuously constantly even at the moment of death you die with worries fears if you have to die with worries and fears with vedanta live a normal life what is the difference that fellow also same he also manages tries to be happy as much as he could has worries and dies so why you have to unnecessarily take one more extra thing? right and here is guru parampara telling us this is true this is real you are god we have known we have seen and you few still don't give it that importance what a tragedy right and now i am going to say a sentence 
What is Vedanta? De-hypnotizing through self-hypnotizing. <laughs> De-hypnotizing through self-hypnotizing. You, they say the whole world is an error. You do not know yourself. Agnana. There is avarana. And therefore, vikshepa, that is the world. Like your dream. World is an error. World doesn't exist. This is what they say. And therefore, this world is nothing but Narayana. They can say that and leave it. But they say, Isha Vasyam Idagam Sarvam. That means you envelop the whole thing, clothe the whole thing with Isha. So that's what. You have hypnotized yourself as the individual. The world is real. Dehypnotize it with Isha. Adhyasa, Apavada, through another Adhyasa. This is called Upanishad. So, uh, Upasana. In Kallu, you see Pillayar. That's Adhyasa. Super imposition. Is it wrong? No. It's not wrong. Why it is not wrong? Why, why, why are you trying to object? Because ni kallula parkara correct na, ana or kallula matte illa. Yella adithile irukar daur da. Enna la park mudi liye adikda kallula parkar the karambi. Elke jipo na enna pandra blocks kudkra, kanak pandra theke unne unne idu unne yevula rende. English uncle. English. Huh? English. In English, oh, oh Santoshama, yeah, okay. If you go to LKG, they give you blocks. One, this is one mango. This is one mango. Now, how many mangoes? Two mangoes they show. One, one, two. Oh. After five years, do they need the blocks? They do not need. Unless the teacher has a block. Right? Similarly, to remove the superimposition, which is hypnotizing yourself to be the individual, you have to substitute with another hypnotizing. I am not this individual. I am God. What is the difference? As an individual, only 10 people blame me. As God, all people blame me. And that's why I am God, because I can take it. So this Upasana, what is the basic principle? I am repeating, repeating it hundredth time in this eleventh class, and some people are fed up. That's why the attendance also is less. But I cannot but repeat it till you say, "I will now say." Right? Till you are so confident, I have to repeat it because this is all the truth. There is nothing beyond it. Brahmasatyam Jagan Mitya Jeevo Brahmaivana Paraha. There is nothing beyond it. Brahma is the truth. Jeeva is the myth. And this myth Jeeva is nothing but that Brahman. You have to understand it. How you say something is truth? How you say something is myth? How do you say the myth is the truth? You have to think. When you think, truth is revealed to you. When, that's what I started in the class. Vedanta is full of paradoxes. When you try to resolve the paradoxes, knowledge reveals in yourself. When you try to resolve the paradoxes, knowledge 
reveals by itself. Right? So here, you do not know God. Why? Because even your teacher doesn't know. Right? You do not know God. Now what to do? How to go? Yeah. You have a concept of God first. And that for everybody, the concept is high. He is all pervading. But when you score a century, you, you look up. When you get three wickets, you look up. Why? God is all pervading. Why to look up? Because that's the way we have all been conditioned. God is high above. So you have a high ideal. You have a high ideal. What is it? Vedanta namak sarivaradi. We can't understand. Right? You have a high ideal of God. Some ideal you have. Keep that. Work yourself up to reach there. After you reach there, you will find there is a little more distance to go. Upgrade. Upgrade. This is called raising the bar. Little by little. Raising the bar. That's called Vupasana. So the Vupasana, we have been given Ashwamedha, fire. Fire Vupasana, where does it come? Where all does it come? Hi, how lucky I am. I can take the classes for as long as I live because nobody listens. Even last class I said, Katha Upanishad, Dachiketa Agni. And then Isha Vashya Upanishad Agni. Naya Supata, then in Gita, Aham Vaishwanaro Bhutva, all Agni Upasnas, Panchagni, Brother Nikopas. Panchagni is, they have five fires and stand in between. Titiksha to develop. Seven fires on the Yeah, are uh, uh, the GST plus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Seven fires. Seven fires. Kali, Karali. <laughs> Kali, Karali. Right? Why seven fires? Seven, seven holes. Here. Hey, I know. Every hole has hunger. Every hole is a fire cone. You have to feed. You have to feed. That's why fire is holy. Right? So, fire, upasana. Then, prana, upasana. Listen to this, please, because this is the easiest, workable, effective. Do not worry whether I will finish Brihadaranika or even today I will finish third, uh, this thing. Do not worry. I don't have to finish anything. You understand whatever I say fully, there is enough. I don't have to finish anything. Even third Udgita Brahmana, I don't have to finish. What I am going to say, that you listen, practice, that's enough. What is Pranopas? Why it is given all importance in Brudharanika? Out of all the Upanishads, Prana Upanishad alone, Prana. Uh, Vupasana alone is repeated several times. Why? Because it's visible God. It's visible God. Fire also visible, but it's only in aspects. Here, you live by prana, and when prana goes out, people say you die. So therefore, it's visible. Prana. Breathing, how that becomes God? Breathing, breathing means what? Go, air going in, air coming out. Then if you have to live, go to petrol bunk. 
get pumped up. It says in Katopanishad, na pranena, na apanena, matyaha jivati kachana. Itarena to jivati, yeto, yes, men yeto upasrito. Not by breathing he lives. Not by responding, apana he lives. He lives on something else on which both these things depend. Prana apana you can arrest through Hatha Yoga. Still you live. If there is no life, your prana apana cannot stay. Without prana apana, you can still be there. That is how to decide a truth. This is called Anvaya Vitireka. When something is there, it is there. When something is not there also, it is there. When prana apana is there, life is there. When prana apana is not there also, consciousness is there. That's how to decide. Right? So, it's easily visible. Right? So, you do not say, how to do I do upasana? Breathing, you know, you are breathing. Mm -hmm. You are living. That by which you live is God. As simple as that. You are talking. You are seeing. Dead body cannot see. Dead body cannot see. That by which you do all your activities, you are living, is God. So how to know that? Gita says it's so simple. Utkrantam. Utkramantam. Innama yallaru sendipi pandhiya. Bhunjanam va gunanvitam. Vimudha na anupashyanti. Pashyanti gnana chakrita. Utkrantam. When you get up, when you walk, how are you walking? How are you getting up? How are you talking? All through prana. All through prana. How do you say you do not know? Oh, that is prana. No, prana cannot act by itself. That is Brahman. Brahman with the conditioning, with the cover, acts as prana. When you feel the prana, is responsible for all your activities, physical and mental. Then you see that which is behind the prana. How do I see that which is behind the prana? Beautiful. That's why this upasana is the best. Just watch your breathing. Breathing becomes the scene. The one who watches becomes the seer. Then you know prana is different from you. And you are different. When prana is stopped in Hatha Yoga, you are still there. And therefore, that which outlives everything is the subject, is you. Because objects come and go. Subject never goes. Objects come and go. Subject never goes. And that prana is the scene. You are the seer. So, prana vikshana, mano vikshana, prana ikshana. I think Sandhi, it, is, it comes as prana vikshana. Why Sandhi? Prana ikshana, mano ikshana. Right? I have to compromise with your Sandhi. Right? Prana ikshana, mano ikshana. Simplest, effective, immediate meditations. All of you, the people inside and the people outside, if you have your doubts, ask me till you have no doubt because there is nothing beyond it. Anything seen is not you. Whatever sees all the seen is you. Body is seen, not you. Mind is seen, not you. Prana is seen, not you. Who are you? Bas. I am, I am. Soham. It comes in the fourth. Purusha Vida. It starts with that. Soham. Right? 
I am that. You still say, I have listened, I have to reflect, I have to meditate, I have to do sadhana. Something wrong with you. What is there that you do know you cannot understand in this and feel that you can watch your thoughts, manaha ichana. You can watch your breathing, and the one who watches is different, and that fellow is constant. That is you. What is there for sadhana in this? What is there for sadhana? Then why sadhana and all that? Shankaracharya is not a sadhana panchakam. That is because they are not able to take their mind away from cricket. India, Nepal is going on. That's why some people have not come. Right? That's at least little better people. Grasser people, today dinner. You know, that hotel is giving today special dinner at 100, half the price. Right? Where will you get God? You can still get, but God says, don't insult me. Please, you are not ready for me. You don't want me. So, I am a respectable man. I don't intrude into your privacy. You enjoy your life. Even that useless life, I am only supporting. Right? So, how does how do people say, I do not know God, I have not realized, he is realized, he is Agnani. How? You have not realized you are the seer? You have not realized you exist? You have not realized in sleep, when you are not identified with anything, you are happiness? Even in waking, when for a moment the mind becomes still, you are happy? How do you say I'm not experienced? How do you say somebody else is realized? It's the easiest way to shirk the responsibility. I do not want it. Why? I love my masal vadai. So this is upasana. So prana upasana is the most effective because you don't need any other thing. Even kallu for pillayar, you don't need. And there again, you have to do a lot of compromise. Here, no compromise. You are watching your breathing. You are watching your mind. Both are not different. Shaka yor dvayi. Ramana says in Upadeshasara, both prana and mind are two branches of the same thing. Shaka yor dvayi. That's why when you still live your prana, you cannot think. Right? When you still live your prana, you cannot think. And that is called Mano Lena and not Mano Nasa. It's become dormant because you have still the prana, but it's not gone. It will go only through vichara. Pranayama is good. Through pranayama, you can regulate the mind and bring it to a halt before you start contemplating. But ultimately, only through contemplation, you can discard this ego. Only through contemplation, you can discard this ego. So only through vichara. Up to that point, all sadhanas are the same. Pratyahara, that point yeah. is called. After that, it's the same. Different paths meeting at Pratyahara, after that contemplation. So through prana, regulating, you regulate the mind. That mind should be Used for contemplation. What is contemplation? I'm not the body, 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 I'm not the body. Who is talking? Your mouth is talking, that's body. I'm not the mind, I'm not the mind, I'm not the mind. Is that that one? No. 
some pain comes, that belongs to the body. It needs it. God is so loving. He has given it. I have used it. And anything that is used has to go through overalling. All my pain is overalling by the all loving God. That is vichara. Not simply going on saying, I am not the body, I am not the body, I am not the body. When pain comes, use your complete logic to say you are not the body. When you are agitated, say, I am not the mind. When you feel humiliated, say, I am not the ego. Mano buddhi ahankara chittavane naham nacha srotra jikve nacha gana netri. I am not this, I am not this, I am not this. Why? All defects belong to them. You are not that. Who are you? Total pure auspiciousness. Chidananda rupa shivoham shivoham shivoham. Chidananda rupa shivoham. Shiva means auspicious. Auspicious. What does it mean? Chit knowing. What does it benefit? Ananda. Chidananda rupa hum shivo hum shivo. That's me. I'm not the body. Body is painting. Who oh, is so beautiful? Uh, I am a dwarf. He's six feet three inches. Right? He is fair. I am unfair. Right? Oh, he has so many friends. Mind. Who oh, you do not know? He has how many houses? They Sunday one house, Monday how one house. Huh? Five days you stay in a house. Then Warangatu, Waragadam. <laughs> Sixth and seventh day. Right? So far. I don't need. I do not need. So what? Sura mandira tarumura nivasa shayya bhutala majanam vasa sarva parikraha bhoga tyagaha kasya sukam nakarodim. What is it that's causing you to worry? Not having the house. The thought worrying about the house. Parikraha. Or the worry that this house you have to dispose. So the problem is not ha not having, problem is having. Problem is having. So therefore, sarva parigraha bhoga yagaha. Leave that. Then there is no mind. Where there is no mind, you are bliss. Right? So that is the way you have to say, this is not me, this is not me, this is seen. Prana is seen, prana ikchana, not me. Then to start with, I said step by step, you raise your bar. To start with, prana is supporting all your activity, physical and mental. And Bhagavan said, Utkramantam stitam vapi bunjanam va gunan vitam. Whether you get up or you sit or walk, it's me. It's me is a word. How do you know? Through prana. Prana is not Bhagavan. But see that which dynamizes the very prana. How to see it? Just watch the prana. You can't make it simpler than this. All that you have to do is go on listening till you shout and everybody runs. What happened? What happened? I am Brahman. Till you shout. Go on reflecting. And one day shout. And everybody say, what happened? What happened? And then they will all say, and in case or in the class, <laughs> Kalam, oh, I think. Right. 
So that is why the prana upasana is the easiest, best. Because even mano upasana is not easy. Because you can't detach from the mind so easily. Prana is easy. And they are not two different things. They are not two different things. Therefore, all the adjectives are going to be given to prana now. He is Angirasa, he is Brihaspati, he is Brahmana. All that are given for you to raise your mind to those heights, one by one. Right? To raise your mind one by one. And then it says, the man who has meditated on this prana, Udgita, identified with that, finally discovers himself to be the very origin of this prana. He is the self and prana belongs to the self. And in that knowledge, prana becomes the self and there is no prana and there is no world. At that time, what happens? The man who used to chant this is called Prastoru or something like that. That man's uh, name, that Purohit. Right? He allows you to chant three. Take the benefit. The seven he has kept for himself. Earlier it is said, he gets everything, he becomes the knower. At that time, he has all the powers. The karta should go to him and ask him whatever he wants, he can bless him. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotirgamaya, mrityor ma amrutangamaya. That's how this prana udgita brahmana ends. Okay. This one chapter with the clues I have given, this one Udgita Brahmana, with the clues I have given now in a few minutes, if you reflect on that, if you still say, I have not realized, and he is realized, I have not, he is great, I have. You do not want to be. That's all. Your priorities are different. Because nobody can afford to say, I do not understand this. Nobody can say. It is the simplest, easiest, practical. Yeah, now I read, I will read the third Udgita Brahmana and it's as good as Vova. I have explained every bit of it. We have done up to 16. 17 I have to do. Atha Atmane Anadyam Agayate. Now, in this portion earlier, we have been told this prana is the Hiranyagarbha who supports all our activities. You, diverse from him, will meet only death. Tune to him, he will take you beyond death. That's what we are doing. Up to 16. As an ego, diverse from the totality, you will face death. Tune to him, hold on to him, totality, Hiranyagarbha. He will take you beyond death. Right? So that's what we did. He is the supporter. He is the one to whom you have to tune. And he is the one who redeems you. Now, he not, not merely does that. He is the one who brings all the food to you. 
is the one who brings all the food to the Pranapana samayuktaha pachami annam chaturvidam. You cannot digest food without pranapana. You can't take food without prana. That which lifts is prana. That which makes it go down is apana. That which digests it is vyana, samana. That which distributes it is vyana. That which makes you think higher and go beyond this is udana, udana. That's how Ud Gita also. Ud Ana, Ud Gita. Right? This every day you are telling in your uh, Naivedyam, Pranaya Swaha, Apanaya Swaha, Vyanaya Swaha, Samanaya Swaha, Udanaya Swaha. Why didn't you ask, why, what is this? Why didn't you ask that Pandit, what is this? Why? What prevents you from asking? Such a simple thing. Every day we are repeating. Why is this? Why you didn't ask? You, by your asking, whether you get benefit or not, the other man gets the benefit. Because he will say, I do not know, tomorrow I will tell you. He will go and find out. Huh? You have made one man a gnan. Right? Because without prana, no activity is possible, either physical or mental. Without prana, nothing is possible. Therefore, it is the first manifestation of Brahman. Mukhya, it's called Mukhya. Mukhya is important. Right? The first. Chinmaya Mission also has something, you know. Mukhya. Right? So, that is Mukhya. Important. First. Top. Right? So, it says, now the thing is, he has to bring food to you and give it to you. Because without him, nothing can be done. Prana, Apana, Yana, Udana, Samana. Why? I can take the food. Are your hand needs him. Not only that, you should know it is food. Thinking needs Udana. So, without him, there is no activity possible. Right? So, he brings the food. You don't tune to him. What will you do? He has to eat all. You tune to him and say, you got all this, please share with us. He says, I don't mind, sit. I don't mind, sit. There are several gnanis in Himalayas who have not bothered to teach even one because they say it's not my problem, it is God's problem. If their prarabdha becomes all right, they will learn. Right? So, if you go, they will teach. Similarly, prana. If you go and ask it, it is share. Otherwise, it will eat. Right? Otherwise, it will eat. So, here, that topic starts. How he is not merely the one who takes you away from death, who monitors your uh, life, he is the one who facilitates and, and brings all the food that you need. How many types of food? Seven types of food. It will come in the next uh, fifth chapter. And that also can be further subdivided. That topic seven is different. You can say through the eyes, through the ears, all that is food. Right? So here, Aka Atmane Annadyam Agayat by that one word Agayat, they have mixed two aspects and made one word. 
agayat you brought by singing by chanting right agayat yet he kinchid annam adyate anenaiva tad adyate iti pratis pratishtati the vital force rests on food pratishta right vital force rests on food and all the food comes to it and it keeps and it eats because what else to do you are not gone it, it gets all that by chanting chanting means what by itself tuning to god singing the glories of god right it gets everything and then these people realize and says te deva abruvan yata vadva idam sarvam yadannam tad atmana agasi that's why they are they was very humble very simple and truthful you got all this food you earned for yourself they didn't say why you we are all socialistic country you should by our right you should you know you have earned all that for yourself very humble right they say anu naha atmin atmin anna abhajasveti you have got all for yourself you and only but please share with us te vai ma abhisamvishati ti he doesn't even waste one second okay sit around they say you got all the food for yourself please share with us okay sit around i never said no you people didn't come you people didn't come so sit around tateti kam samantam par par parinya vishanta and then they all sat around it tasmad yad anena annam atti tena etat trupyanti thus through this food everybody becomes satisfied evam bhava enam swa abhisam samvishanti similarly all the relations all the relations who tune to this person right all the relations bhatta swanam shrestha he becomes their bhatta bhatta means the one who supports them here the bhatta barya you can have a lot of humor in this particular thing it will come right the meaning is one who supports he becomes the supporter of all his relatives also who tune to him who don't tune he cannot help that will that will also come bhatta स्वानाम श्रेष्ठः पुरायेता भवति अन्नादो अधिपतिः य एवं वेद वन हु नोस दिस ही आल्सो बिकम्स द मास्टर ऑफ फूड मास्टर चेफ य उ एवं विदम स्वेशु प्रति प्रति भुवुषति स हेव अलम भार्गियो भ्यु न हि एव alam bhargyo bhyo bhavati one who doesn't follow this man one who ridicules him takes the opposite view avangite nana borde why should i go to him that fellow will not have anybody dependent on him that means he cannot support others he cannot support himself alam bhargya he doesn't have barya means one who depend he doesn't have yan of wives alam barya right it's not why wives the people who are supported by you barya supported right bharta the supporter it it nothing to do with your 
masculine gender, feminine gender, and all that. Right? Ata ya yeva tam anubhavati, one who follows him, yo yetam anubhavan bubhursati sa hi alam bhargya bhyo bhavati. One who follows him has enough wives. Alam bhargya bhavati. Enough people to support. That means you are a master. It's not that you have dependence and therefore you are great. You are a master who can serve the people. And therefore, he is now concluding this pranopasana. All the main points have been said. That he is the supporter, he is the one who takes you away from death. Right? And he restores your divinity to you. All that has been said. And then he is the one who gives you food, food and all that. Now, stuti. So that points to meditate. Pointers. Saha. Ayasya angira saha. Anga naam hi rasaha. He is angira saha. He is a rishi. All these rishis are only by this. The one who brought this so clearly is Gurudev in his 10th chapter, Sapta Rishis. He said the five Tanmatras and the mind and intellect are the Sapta Rishis. Right? And that is substantiated in Bhagavata. Right? So, Pranava Anganam Rasaha. Angirasa? Is Anganam Rasaha. What is Anganam Rasaha? Pranaha. Right? Why? The reason also he gives. Tasmat, Yasmat, Kasmat, Cha Angat, Prana, Kramati. By from whomever this Prana exists, Tadeva, Tatsushyati, it gets dried up. Therefore, it's the Rasa of the Angas, Angana Rasaha. Yeshahiva Angana Rasaha, Angi Rasa. One pointer to you. You know, it's difficult for me, all that. I know it's difficult. I know you don't need it. That's why I simply said, watch the prana, prana ichana. That you can't say it's difficult. But to watch, to concentrate, to focus, you need your heart to be there, some reverence. Therefore, he is giving all this. Some reverence. Right? Anga nam hi rasaha. Yesha u, u means indeed, yeva brahaspati hi is brahaspati. Right? This everybody knows because sometime or other you got this title, Saryana brahaspati. Right? Yeva brahaspati hi. Vagvai brahati. Brahati is sama brahati. Right? Speech is the brahati. Tasya yesha patihi. The lord of the speech, the one who supports speech is prana. Tasma tu brahaspatihi. Therefore, he is brahaspati. Angirasa brahaspati. Now, brahaspata is ruk, ruk mantras. Okay? Yesha Uyeva Brahmanaspatihi is the He is the Lord of the Brahm, Brahman means Brahma. Brahm, right? Brahmaji. Walk by Brahma. What is this Brahma? Walk speech. Tasya Yesha Patihi. Tasma Brahmanas Patihi. Therefore, he is Brahmanas Patihi Yajur. Yajur, Yajur Veda. He is Rukveda, he is Yajur Veda, right? Yeshavu, ye, Yeva, Samaha. Rukveda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda. Right? Yeshavu, Sama. And in these five na na different names, already three you are using. Samanaya Swaha, Udanaya Saudgita, 
right? Pranaya, swaha, three already you are familiar. Every day you are using. Prana, Udgita and Samana. Why it is Samana, it will come. But now, for the time being, it is Samaveda. Because here the Vupasana is speech and prana. Together is your word. Speech and prana. Speech is Veda. Speech is Veda, knowledge. Prana, the supports. These two together is your word. Yesha u yeva samaha vagvai sa. Speech is sa. Right? Am yeshaha. Prana is am sama. Right? Ye. Sa. Speech. Feminine. Umma nirpahiva prana. Right? Sa chamas cheti tas samnaha samatvam. That is the samanhood. Sama. Right? Samatvam. And what is that samatvam? Is going to explain now. Yad eva samaha prishina. Prishina means white ants. The one who is common in white ants. Samo mashakena. Common in mosquito. Right? Therefore, when you kill mosquito also, say, Om Tashat and kill. Because it is also Brahman. Yourself. Say, Om Tashat and kill. Okay. Samo mashakena. Samo nagena. Naga means elephant. Sama yebihi Tribihi Lokaihi. In all the three worlds, this is common. Right? Equal to the three worlds, equal to this universe. Samo Anena Sarvena Tasmad Eva Samaha. Therefore, it is called Sama because it is common in all. Ashnute Samaha Sayujyam Salokata Ya Yevam. Yetat Samaveda, one who can understand this through contemplation becomes this prana and therefore he becomes one with all the lokas, saloka, saiyujyam. What are the various states? Uh, saiyujyam, salokyam, samipyam, and. and sa Sayujyam, Sarupyam, Salokyam, Samipyam. Right? I'm going to So now, under my time, man. three minutes. Yeshava, Yeshuva Gita. This is Udgita. Why Pranava Ud? It lifts you up. Pranenahi, Idam Sarvam, Utabdham. It's all lifted up. That's why it's called Udana. Same meaning. Yes. Ana, Udana. Same meaning. Vageva Gita. That is Prana. Ud. Vag is. Gita and therefore together is Udgita. Ucha Gita Cheticha Udgita. Tad Tadhapi Brahma Datta Sekate Neyu Rajanam Bakshayan Novacha. I am Tasya Raja Murdhanam Vipata Yatatu Yadito Ayasya Angira Soho Anyena Yedam. Ye the Gagai Diti, Vacha, Cha, Hesha, Sapranena, Cha, Udgaya Diti. This is just the way of the uh, Upanishads and all that. They just bring suddenly an example and say he, he, 
your head will fall off if you say there is something other than this. That is only to emphasis. That's only to emphasis. Right? Well, swam, Telugu. Sumu. Sum, well, right? One who knows this salmon get the well, attains the well. That's the way Swara ever swam. What is his well? Chanting. By that he gets his money. So Swara ever swam. His throat should be all right. You understand? Tasmad Arditvajyam Karishyan Vaji Swaram Icheta. You have to develop that. You have to develop that if you want it, if you want the wealth. Tata Vacha Swara Sampan Yatvajya Kriya Tasmad Yagne Swaravanta Didruchanta. Therefore, people are waiting for somebody who has got a good Swara Didruchanti. They are waiting to receive him. Right? That Swara's importance. Then this is gold. Why? This is gold. Bhavati, because all is gold, all is wealth depends upon his swara. Bhavati, hasya, suvarnam, yevam, yetas samna, suvarna veda. Tasya, hetasya, samno, yaha, pratishta veda. Prati. One who is established in this Sama, he gets a firm seating because he gets money, he gets gold, and he is established. So one who knows this gets a pratishta support. Tasya vai vageva pratishta. What is the support? Va is the support. For whom? For Udgita man. For the Archana. No. Anybody in the world. Your Vag is your support. If you do not know how to speak, how to ask, you will not live. For anybody, Vag only is the support. That is to speak. And support, you have to live. Eating it is also Vag. Vagihi Kalveva yetat pranaha pratishito giyate anna ityuhu yeka ahuhu. And some people say yekaha ahuhu, it rests on food. Some people say prana rests on what? Some people say it rests on food. Right? This is all one Brahman only in different names, so you don't have to worry. Right? Next is the abhyaroha or pavamana. The Tasutoma, sir, we will see next week. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Hum Sri Guru Bhyonam Hari Hum Yes.